Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl at Daisy coming at you with another fun video. So you guys, I asked you guys to ask me questions, fun questions, because it's been a while since I did like a proper fun Q&A. So you guys sent me your questions and I'm going to be responding to those questions in today's video. But before we dive into the questions, I just want to say thank you for all your compliments. I got a lot of compliments, a lot of, you know, nice comments good comments i love you i love your personality you're beautiful i love the way you look you're a nice person you're this and that you guys thank you guys so so much for all of your compliments i don't take it for granted at all anyway thank you guys so much okay so let's dive into the question so someone is asking what's your perfect vacation day itinerary from when you wake up to the end of the day what's your perfect i have never really thought about this question before but yeah i think okay when I wake up, you know, have my bad dress up, go and have a very nice breakfast, okay? Fun fact, I actually love breakfast meals, okay? Like, I love, I can skip lunch and dinner. When I mean breakfast meals, I mean meals that are traditionally, meals that are traditionally breakfast meals. I can eat them breakfast, lunch, dinner, mid-dinner, middle of the night, or, you know, every, anywhere, anytime, okay? I actually like breakfast meals, so um, have a very nice breakfast, and then after that, come back, you know, to the hotel room, get ready. Maybe I wasn't really dressed before, get dressed with my shoes and everything. Then go out, go sightseeing, go. I kind of love sightseeing. I like walking, funny enough. Yeah, it's just that I don't see where to walk around here. But I like walking so I, I can go sightseeing, you know, go places, just go and see what's happening in different towns, different cities, you know, go shopping as well. And then come back. If I'm with my partner, like if I'm my husband, I'll come back and just basically cuddle watch a movie yeah do things or whatever and then sleep okay but if i'm on a girl's trip then we'll come back to the hotel and just play games and have fun dance you know listen to music and all of that okay um so someone's asking me about a scenario okay so basically yeah you're on a date with a guy and then his bottle falls off the table in a very fancy restaurant okay his bottle falls off the table and then she tells him to pick up the bottle and then he refuses okay and people did not really witness it, but yeah, she witnessed it and she told him to pick up the bottle and he refused. So she's asking, what do I think? Do I think the incident is a big deal? Personally, I think it's a red flag, okay? I don't think it's enough to call off the relationship yet, but if you guys are still dating, I think it speaks to his character, okay? So personally, I will look more into it. I'll see it as a red flag and I'll look more into it, okay? Most times there's more to it. What I mean by more to it is that it might be his personality, it might be the way he is. There are people who, okay, there are two ways, okay? There are people who are condescending or proud or treat those that are perceived as less than them. They treat, as people that serve them, especially, they treat them badly, okay? So, to me, that's a very huge red flag. That's a no-no. I can't even accept it. If you're someone who treats people around you, like service, people that serve, that serve you, basically, if you treat them badly, I see it as a red flag, okay? So, it might be that, then it might also be that he's a scattered, dirty person, okay? That's why he, lazy, lazy, basically, lazy, dirty person that just feels like a bed. It doesn't, it's nothing wrong with the bottle being on the floor. It's not bad, yeah, and all of that, okay? So, Either way, that's a red flag for me. If you're lazy and dirty, it's a red flag. If you are condescending and rude and wicked, it's a red flag, okay? So, choose your own red flag there and then act accordingly. But for me, especially in the dating stage where we're just getting to know each other, if you're already showing yourself like this, then what more is there in store for me in the future, okay? So, to me, it's a huge red flag, okay? But do you, boo? Do you, okay? <laughs> Would you rather give up social media or YouTube for five years or eat the same thing for dinner girl i rather eat the same thing for dinner what i rather eat the same thing for just dinner not even breakfast and lunch in fact i rather skip dinner for that five years eh nee. yeah for me to give up actually youtube i can give up social media like maybe twitter and maybe instagram and stuff like that facebook yeah facebook i give up facebook and twitter but you see youtube ah youtube is my it's not even about what i gain from youtube but like me um, being on YouTube and making money from YouTube. It's not even about me. It's about what I love. I actually watch YouTube a lot. I watch a lot of creators from all walks of life. Like, oh, when I say all walks, like if I tell you my favorite YouTube creators, they're going to be like, how? From where to where? How do you even know them? First of all, like you're watching them, you know? So I love YouTube for that. And I like the fact that you can just search for things on YouTube and you'll see, you know, a good answer. Not even just, you'll see a good answer on any topic on YouTube. 
Um, the next one is how did you meet Nello? I get this. I got this question a lot in this Q and A, and I'm like, you people don't watch my videos. Like I've said this several times in different ways and different Q and As. But anyway, long story short, I met Nello on YouTube. Okay, so the first place I met her physically was in the hospital. We both use the same hospital. Okay, or we both used to use the same hospital. Well, we both use the same hospital until now. But yeah, so I met her. She brought Kaito, her second son, for immunization, and I brought Eva, my second daughter, for immunization. The same immunization, the same BCG. So when I saw her, I was like, ah, I know you from somewhere because I used to watch her videos and I even watched her, like, her birth video when Kaito was born and stuff like that, okay? So I was like, I know you from somewhere, I know you from YouTube because in, in real life, okay, she looked fairer and taller, okay? So I wasn't really sure initially, but when I saw her, I was like, ah, you look familiar. She was like, we are not sent YouTube. She was like, oh, yeah. So immediately, I left and went to do the immunization I brought my child for. I feel like I'm talking too fast. Anyway, uh, then afterwards, we didn't see again until um, until YouTube when she announced that she wanted to collaborate with smaller YouTubers. I think I had like 200 and something subscribers there, not up to 500 anyway. And she, she had like 17k. So I said, okay, oh, I'd like to collaborate with you. And then she chose me to collaborate with her. And yeah, I think after we met and collaborated, I don't think we had a time that we're not friends afterwards i think we just continued like that like almost like yeah we just continued like there was no we just clicked and continued there was no um like oh there was a break that we now reconnected or anything we just continued from there okay from the collapse so that's how i met nello okay, okay. why did nello love you so much <laughs> what <laughs> then why that's why does nello love you so much but look at me guys just just take a look at me what is there not to love okay what is there not to love you? Don't you love me? Huh? <laughs> ah, this is a very funny question. I think you should be asking me why do I love Nelo so much? Like she's not here to answer the question. So then the next question is swimming or bungee jumping? Girl, I'll go swimming. Bungee what? Bungee who? I'd rather go swimming. Anyway, the thing with bungee jumping is this. Eh? I like the idea of it. Like when I see people do it, I'm like, ah. I wish I had liver to go and do this thing, but no fit. I no fit. Like I don't want my. I'll be one of those people that go to fit halfway. Like you know those people that when they enter, you know, like all those leaves, not leaves, not leaves. When they enter all those um, what they call the name now, <laughs> roller coasters, not roller coaster, all those rides. Sha, uh, you know those people that used to faint. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to be one of those kind of people. Okay, so bungee jumping is a no no for me. If I don't have a choice, I'll do it. But if I have a choice, I'll go for swimming. What makes you happy most times? Hmm, good question. What makes me happy most times? Um, the first one is God. Okay, God makes me happy. You know, counting my blessing makes my blessings makes me happy. Thinking about God, thinking about my life, where I am right now, how things are going in my life, it makes me happy. Okay. Um, my children, my husband, my family, they make me happy. My siblings, talk to, talking with my siblings, just with my sister, seeing my nephew. Family makes me really happy, okay? My friends make me really happy. Uh, yeah, shopping makes me happy. If I'm talking about activities that make me happy, okay, okay, activities that make me happy, cleaning and arranging actually makes me happy. Like, I like arranging my environment. Like, the process, not just that my, my environment is arranged. I like the process of arranging my environment, cleaning, organization makes me really happy. Like, putting things, okay? It makes me really happy. Um, creating stuff, creating stuff. Making YouTube videos, responding to comments, uploading videos and stuff like that makes me really happy. But creating stuff, not just videos, um, physical stuff, I like to be really creative. I like to work with my hands. I like DIYs. So those are things that really, really make me happy. She says, your beauty is exceptional. Thank you, girl. Thank you. And she says, how do you still look beautiful after three beautiful princesses are big? Any tips? Does uh, childbirth make you ugly? I do not know. Can somebody send me the, the constitution or the memo where it was written that childbirth makes you ugly? Um, I don't think childbirth makes you ugly. If anything, to me, it makes I feel like I became finer the older I got. Finer, well, officially and all of that. Body-wise, not so... Well, I don't, let me not even start yabbing my body, okay? Because I know I'm busy for all around, from head to toe, okay? I'm beautiful, okay? But I think what pregnancy does to you or having kids does to you, in many cases, is that it makes you gain weight and a lot of bodily changes... A lot of physical body changes like your boobs, stretch marks, cut complexion, stuff like that. So that is how pregnancy but don't I don't consider that as ugly. 
I consider it as different, okay? It doesn't make you ugly, it just makes you look different, okay? A fine girl is a fine girl any day. A baby girl remains a baby girl, whether she has 10 children or no child, okay? Um, so someone's asking, what part of Ibo land are you from? And where's your husband from? I'm from Anambra State, okay? Anambra State, Ozubulu in the building, representing Ozubulu, okay? What's Ozubulu's code, self? I don't know. I'm representing Ozubulu, okay? Ekusigo local government, Nza. Uburesi, Uburosisi, okay, Unza, Ozubulu, Ekusigo local government, okay, so that's where I am from, but my husband is from Obongpa, Iseluku local government in Delta State, okay. Okay, so I also got a lot of questions about, you know, saving and investing, so I think after this, immediately after this, I'm going to do a video about saving and investing myself, okay, how I save and invest my money, what I make on YouTube, whether YouTube is a good, I also got the question whether YouTube is a good career, whether I consider YouTube a business, all about YouTube, 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 YouTube. I'm just going to answer all that question, all those questions in the next video. I'm not even going to change outfit, neither will I pretend like I filmed a different day. I'm just going to answer it immediately after this video, okay? Okay, this question, I got it a lot again. What advice will you give people in their 20s trying to figure life out? I would say try everything, okay? Put in your best. If you have not yet figured out your life, I think you should try everything, okay? Don't say no to any opportunity. Try everything. Try high jobs, low jobs, medium jobs, everything. Try physical, you know, hard work kind of job. Try mental kind of jobs. Try working anywhere, okay? Just be trying things out as quickly as possible. Anyone that's not working for you, uh, progress from it or move away from it or move on from it quickly, as quickly as possible when you're in your 20s. Trust me, somehow, you're going to be working in the right direction. Just like you don't know it yet, okay? Whenever you end up at that thing that you're supposed to be doing for the rest of your life or that purpose, you're going to be like, ah, that means I was actually heading in the right direction all this while, okay? But don't stay still, don't stand still. You have to keep doing something, okay? Try different things. You can't tell, you can't figure things out if you're not trying different things. What are you going to figure out? You can't figure anything out now. Then the next question this is actually a fun question. Someone is asking, do you shower top to down or down to top? I have never thought about this before. <laughs> do I shower top to down or down to top? How do I shower? I shower top to down, okay? Okay, let me give you guys a breakdown of how I shower, okay? Because, yeah, you know YouTube and oversharing, that's what, that's what we're here to be doing. So let me overshare this one, okay? First off, I rub my face wash all over my face, okay? And then I enter the bathtub, and then I pour it on my body. Then I take my soap and start scrubbing from my neck, my soap and sponge. I use, like, normal Nigerian sponge. You know the normal, that one that Malam sell that is long like that. Hey, all those other fancy ones, they don't, do, they don't do much for me. I like to feel like I have scrubbed off my skin, <laughs> my dead skin cells and all the dirt from my body. I like to feel that way. I don't know how to go bath without using sponge. Like how? I've not had my bath though. If I bath without sponge, I've not had my bath. I just went there to rinse my body. Later, I'll go and have my bath. Like I, I can't do it, okay? It doesn't even matter if I have my bath in the night, have my bath at, at, at 2 a.m. If I'm having my bath by if I'm having my bath by 6 a.m., I am going to scrub my body, okay? Yeah, so I start scrubbing from here. I scrub, 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 scrub with that sponge, scrub, scrub my armpits very well, scrub everywhere. Then, by the time I'm getting to my lap area, I wash the sponge, okay? I rinse off, basically I rinse off the soap, rinse off my top, um, upper body, and then I put soap on the sponge again and start scrubbing from my, you know, thigh area down. Then, I scrub in, like my leg and everything, and I now scrub my feet and then under my feet. Then I now wash the sponge very well and keep it okay then i now go in and wash my face i don't use sponge on my face um i wash my face if i'm using a face scrub i use my face scrub um before my my uh what's the name my face wash but if i'm not doing a face scrub i just rinse off my face wash and wash my down there okay yeah that's it <laughs> so i wash top to bottom to top okay someone is asking who is your favorite baby niger housemate to so be honest i don't have a favorite i'm not even going to lie i don't have a favorite okay i like white money i don't even like him i just feel like he's the only one playing the game right so i kind of i'm kind of rooting for him because he's the one playing the game right i like okay i think my favorite is actually nicole rose not that she's doing so much it's because i liked her before the house i liked her when she was dancing okay she's still dancing but i like i used to watch anytime i watch her TikTok videos or Instagram videos where she's dancing, her group, she was in a dance group, okay, anyway, she's in a dance group with two other girls, but anytime I watch their dances, my eyes are always on Liquor Rose because 
she didn't have the typical dancer body or dancer look you know she had this tomboyish you know flow to her she has this tomboy style okay she can be a tomboy and she can be like a girly girl okay so I wish to I wish to look at her anytime I see their dances and how and she dances with so much energy too much energy like sis calm down take it easy okay she everything is energy for her okay so I think my favorite is actually Nicole Rose because I knew her before the house so if it's inside the house no none of them none of them, all of them are just annoying in that house okay if you were to choose another path in career what would it be something art related yeah something art related something that has to do with art. DIY, maybe interior design, yeah, maybe interior design actually, interior design or decoration. I don't know which one is which. I think it's interior decorator, the ones that decorate it. I think interior design the ones that design it. Okay, anyway, all join whatever they are. I would have been more into. I would have chosen that path. Okay, because yeah, I like to decorate. I like to arrange. I like to put things, you know, in order. Now money the whole person. No, now money the whole person. If I had the kind of money that I want to have, I'm going to have. If I could borrow the money for my future right now, I'd have had like I'd have been into interior designing. Someone says, "Tell us about your most embarrassing moment and how will you like to be comforted when you are sad or upset?" Okay, I have a video about my most embarrassing moments. I think I'll leave it in the description box. The next question is, "How will you like to be comforted when you are sad or upset?" Okay, I like to be left alone. I like to be in silence. I like to stay away from everybody. I don't do it as much as I would like because now I have children that depend on me. I have a career, YouTube, and then yeah. The normal me, if I'm, I'm if I'm upset or if I'm sad, I just shut down and cut everybody off and just stay in my room, have some good food, listen to some good music, watch some series, and just be by myself. The only person who I can allow comfort me when I'm sad, actually my husband. Aside from every other person being around me is irritating me. Okay, aside my kids, who I'm talking about adults. Okay, being around me it actually irritates me when I have people around me and I'm sad. I don't want to grieve in peace. That's why I don't even tell people when I'm going through something until after how I have gone through it because I don't want that. Say, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> I want. I like. I like when people tell me sorry after the fact. When I'm no longer hurting, I can accept your apology or your comforting. Okay. So someone is asking if you could choose. <laughs> if you could choose one, would you rather fart silently but deadly every time you talk, or only eat amalani wedu for the rest of your life? I think I'll eat amalani wedu for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'll eat it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's food. I mean, it's very delicious food for that matter. I'd rather eat it for the rest of my life than be farting every time I talk. Like, mbao. Nope, I don't be walking up and down like a smell. Mm -mm. Someone is asking, are you ready for another baby? Can you do a video with your mom sometimes? Girl, you're asking the wrong question, okay? The question should be, do you want another baby? And the answer is, oh hell no oh oh yeah <laughs> would you prefer to be on an isolated island alone or with your enemy okay for me i would rather be with my enemy okay i don't have an enemy nobody's my, nobody's nobody nobody qualifies to be my enemy like no woman being qualifies to be my enemy like who, who do you think you are to be my enemy, who do you think you are? Like, hey, I don't have any enemy, okay? I might be people's enemies, maybe, I don't know, but I don't have any enemy because no human being is qualified to be my enemy, okay? But that being said, let's just say, let's just say I have an a hypothetical enemy or someone I don't really like, okay? I would rather be with the person because me, I can be friends with any human being on this planet. Any human being on this planet, I can be friends with them not friends but i can be cordial with them i can be i can live with them happily peacefully except the person is mental like the person is so mental that the person cannot live with anybody then fine but if the person is not mental the person is just bad just you know annoying just whatever i can live with anybody i know how to follow people i know how to study people i know how to follow people okay so we're going to live together well the reason why i rather live with somebody on a deserted island is just in case of danger Okay, yeah, you need somebody to help in case of danger. That's it. The person does not cook and eat you. Anyway, but in case of danger, you need somebody. And then, so I don't run mad. Even though I like to be isolated, I like to stay by myself, I also like company once in a while. Okay. In fact, my enemy is the perfect person because you won't be in my face all the time. They are going to avoid me too, I, I guess. So sometimes we're going to talk when we have to, which is how. 
I typically like to be. So yeah, <laughs> this is a funny question, but very interesting. I'd rather be with my enemy. I can friends with anybody. In fact, the person who talk to my friends eh? like, by the time I speak to your soul and pray for you, you will start liking me, okay? <laughs> Anyway, this was a fun Q&A. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a little bit not settled because there are people walking in my house right now and I need to go and, f I need to go and look there because these artisans, these people, like, hey, hey, what I've used my eyes to see in this period, hey, hey, you can't leave them and come and be making video. You will go back there and they will do upside down. They will do come out for you. So, yeah, that's why I'm actually in a hurry. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.